I think people will look back in hundreds of years and say that this project, this reading out of the three billion letters of the human DNA instruction book was the most exciting adventure in science that humankind had undertaken up to that point. We'd done some pretty amazing things, splitting the atom, going to the moon, but reading our own instruction book, an adventure into ourselves, something you only have to do once, and then that script is there for hundreds of years to be studied and used for medical benefit. Wow, what a milestone, what a crossing of a bridge uh, into a new era. It's amazing to have been part of that and to have the chance to work with thousands of the best and brightest scientists of this generation who all decided to get together and do this because it was important and not worry too much about who got the credit and gave all the data away every 24 hours, just like What is the lesson in that going forward about <laughs> collaboration in science and what you can achieve? Well, I think the days of major medical advances being done by a lonely scientist working by themselves uh, in a quiet laboratory uh, may still be around, but there's a lot more opportunities now to get things done using teams and having people with different disciplines and different skills get together, and the whole can be a lot more than the sum of the parts. In a certain way, the Genome Project was the first real demonstration to everybody's uh, ability to see it that that's true in biology and in medicine. You can really accomplish a lot if you get together and work with your friends. Let's and do the nexus between uh, technology and science. Mm -hmm. It's all about timing. There's some luck in there. <laughs> there is. And you know, sometimes I think biologists in the past maybe had kind of put technology down a little bit, like, oh, you know, that's just tinkering. Well, it's not real biology. Nobody says that anymore because so many of the breakthroughs uh, that we've now been able to enjoy in the last few years have given us great insights to biology and medicine, but they've been built upon a new technology, whether it's imaging, whether it's genomics, all of those things have empowered us uh, to ask and answer questions that we just couldn't have dreamed were going to be possible in our lifetime. 